Hello, nice to see you again. I'm Chris. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Isaga Terminal EL6224 to complicate outing master and then connect to a key and sensor. Key and outing sensor and a connex outing sensor. For the Isaga master, of course, back of IPC C6920 is used. I hope you like my video and let's start. Okay, so in here you see that I am a uh, have a very small window that is connected to my web camera is showing that it's my conversation here and uh, the power is turning on now um port one is connecting to a key and sensor and port four is connecting to the connex outing sensor and let's open my trinket project here so first thing i would like to do is i need to come do my hardware conversions go to ios device right click add new items and then choose ethercat master and then they will have to they have a uh, device find at windows is showed in here you just uh click none it's okay and then double click the device one is a cat that you had before and in the adapter windows just to uh, just press search and then you can choose which interface that is you that you will use to config as a isacat master because in my case my ipc have two in the uh two ip so i have two interfaces here so i can just uh click it okay so i'll use this one as my isacat master and the next one i will i just need to scan my isacat network right click scan and uh, special isacat Slave, uh, slave mine is that okay yes yes and then just click okay in here so because uh now in these conversions all the terminals using is made by back off it may can auto scan for all the terminals but by some case if you use the other branch it's like a terminal it's like a uh, slave sometime it may not um scan the device so at that time you need to manually add it inside your configurations okay i think uh that is done let me open our conversation to check what terminal is inserted in our project so here is ek1101 as you see is the this one this module okay and then when we open the ek1101 then in the terminal 2 is el6224 Term of is ELO6751. Don't worry, I will explain this module in the future tutorial also. So in this case, we will use ELO6224 and just open it. And uh, you see the IO link port 1 and port 4 is uh, converting, converting here. Because um, before I take this video, I also test with this terminal sometimes. So I install the IODD file and so some data is conflict inside. But so as you see here when open here the port one it is distant distant variable is because i import the iodd file of gns device inside and of this outing sensor it has a two bytes of distant data so as same as the port four i have the input data and of the output data also but don't worry i'll show you how to complete it step by step and just click the EL6224 and go to IO link tab. Here is the tab for you to config each port. For example, the, what kind of device is connecting to port 1, port 2, port 3, or port 4. And because I scanned it from my ESACAN network, all data is config, but I will delete it. I will show you how the menu at this one. Delete it. Okay, and then uh, yes here also yes okay now it's empty right click port one and then create device so okay so before that actually you can just import the rdd file and then drop to here but sometimes if you cannot import the rdd file properly that you download from the outing sensor manufacturer website you need to manually create your device this is not an easy way so that's I show you how to create your device by they uh, create the device by yourself. It may be used sometimes when you're on site, you don't know you don't know why you cannot connect to don't know why the reason that you cannot connect to your outing sensor, that may be a way to save your life. Just right click it, 
free device. The vendor name I'll just uh is uh maybe Kins K E Y E N C E device name just device one and when the ID is zero 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 uh device ID is zero zero for the input data is how many bits is for the process input data. In this case, actually you need to check your uh need to check the our link device that you are connect you check the data sheet that you're connecting you're connecting. But because I know that I checked it before, I know this 60 bit. And uh minimum cycle time 2.3 milliseconds, okay. And check the whip 1.1 and I press OK. Okay, done. Now you see the device one is great, and as you see inside there, I see IO link port one is insert. Inside there with two boss a two byte data or process data. And uh just do the same thing as to the port four, right click, create device. This one port four is a connect sensor, so I will just type C O N T R I N E X. Device name just uh device four. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and then I know that they have in, they have 32 bits of input and 6 bits of output data I also know their minimum cycle time is 8 milliseconds and 1.1 1, 1, 1. you make sure don't miss any option any settings wrong in your uh, conversions you can check all these details in the data sheet okay now you see there's also in the purple we have we have uh, the input data and also the output data and there's a very important thing you need to set as you need to first you need to just a second i think mouse has some problem okay here for the device to right it and uh, go to setting then uncheck the check the vendor id and check device id because as you as i do before i showed you before i just uh insert some value ENS and 0, 0, 0 something so it should not match you should uncheck the check when the id and check the device id uh, make sure sure you also can enter the same value that you check from the data sheet but up to you and for the com completion mode make sure to say it's a communications and do the same thing for the port 4 okay done finish the completion is okay now we can add our plc rocky plc Add new items, choose a center PLC project. And then uh okay now PLC project is great. And the next next thing I will import my library. Don't worry, I also put my link on the end of my uh, of the description of my video that you can download the link the library that I'm using in this case. Um, because I think that you can, you need to use the Trinket library concept, a library manager, because they will save your life so much. You can reuse your code in any project. So just go to add library and other ones, and now it's pretty and install. And I have a library called my library. There's 0 0.2 in here. Just click it and close and just choose my library 0 0.2 and OK. Then Twinket will imp start to import the library. Okay, done. And uh, just give me a second because now I'm still loading the library. Okay, and then when you click the library, then you see I have some function block I add inside. Okay, so the next thing I can create my project, I, I my PLC program. So let's go to Ming. There's something I need to create. The best thing I need to create the I need to check. The port is connecting the port conditions. It's a properly connected outing sensor. Is the connect communication is okay or not? So I will define an instance called ELU 6224 is equal to my library dot FUP ELU, ELU 6224 basic. Then I will define port one. Port one is connecting the key sensor, so my library dot fb underscore lr two thousand. And for the port four, I will use my library dot uh, fb. I think uh, idw something. This is my connect sensor I function block. Okay, and then I will uh, define some uh, some variables for you to check. 
connection is okay or not for example AR this this for the connect sensor AR1 ALR1 AR2 and then for example OSS OSS1 is equal to boot and then I also have distance this is for the key in sensor and I have a measure value ASURE measure value and I also have a scaling value mm. this means okay scaling value is equal to is equal to integer okay great I, def I define all the values uh, all the variables so the next things I need for, for the first one I need to check the port 1 and port 4 then I connect to the outing sensor is correct or not so I port 1 dot I port OK is equal to yellow 6 2 2 4 oh my god yellow 6 2 2 4 dot port OK and enter my port number and the same for the port 4 dot I port OK is equal to yellow 6 2 4 dot the fourth one okay and then i can update my data for port one and port four great and now for example i can get the distance the ist anc is equal to port one is equal to uh port one port one Dock uh, distance, yes, dot distance. Oh, no need this one. And here's the port 4. I missed some typing mistake. Okay, and then I can, for example, IR1 is equal to port 4 dock AR1. And then I can also get the measurement value and measure value is equal to port 4 dot measure value great okay i can just save my pro save my project and then before i done i need to map the data between my function block to the process data view view solutions okay because now no data is linking between my project and to ESAC and master so you should get this warning don't worry we'll fix it now let's press ok and then go to the device status input here here is the variables that allow you to check the status of each port or is each channel that's uh, what you need to do is just select all this one select all this one and right click change multiple link and then choose the el6224 dot data states input and okay they will link all data and same in one time and go to the port one it is this key and sensor data just right click it change link and choose port one input and do the same operation for port four the port four here right click port four input and here port for output okay done and then build again make sure no error okay great and then download your uh, project to the train cat one time yes and need some time to download the project great and then log in play it Okay, go back to main program. You see now some value in the key and sensor distance is 674 mm. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, as you see here, you see the data change because my computer is maybe you have some problem. You see, it's not very fast, but the data is changing now and also. I will uh, check the connect sensor also. Just wait a second. You see the weather will change before from 0 to 1683 something that 
you get some data from the colleagues uh, earning census okay so i think my videos end i hope you like my video and at least you know how to convert the year 6224 and i will uh, put my library in the de video description then you can also try to import and see what that's what happened inside so very easy not difficult things then i also show you how to use trinket library this is very easy and help you to be use your cook in future project okay so if you like my videos i hope you like it share it and subscribe my channel i see you next time okay thank you bye bye